I'm Kevin Cameron, and I'm going to give you a break from all this two-stroke nonsense and get down to four-stroke basics. This is a lowest common denominator four-stroke cylinder head. It is a single cylinder, one combustion chamber, two valves, intake, exhaust, cylinder head from a 250 BSA from a bygone era. What this can show us is how the intake process works. I've put a carburetor on here. This is one of the legendary GP carburetors that comes from the era of one man, one machine, one cylinder, a Lucas Magneto, and an Amel carburetor. Intake air goes in, flows down the intake pipe into the cylinder head, and when the valve lifts, it flows out around the valve into the combustion chamber to follow the retreating piston, which, when this is all assembled properly, is below the head, descending. Intake air, with fuel mixed into it by the carburetor, comes out from under the valve at several hundred feet per second. This is essential for rapid combustion because a mixture of gasoline and evaporated gasoline and air by itself burns quite slowly a matter of a foot or so per second but the fact that intake velocity comes out from under the valve at several hundred feet per second puts a lot of energy into the air that is accumulating as the piston completes the suction or intake stroke when the piston comes back up and compresses that gas all of that whirling and turbulent motion is confined into an ever smaller space, causing it to whirl faster. The spark plug, which is located here, produces a tiny flame kernel, and the vigorous motion, that turbulent motion, tears that flame kernel apart, shreds it, and distributes it around the combustion chamber, causing rapid combustion. The apparent velocity of the combustion process is of the order of 50 feet per second, but can be as high as 200 feet. Normally, in an engine like this, the ignition spark occurs at about 36 degrees before top dead center, and the combustion that is initiated by the spark continues past top dead center for a roughly comparable 30 odd degrees after top dead center. All during that time, combustion is occurring. You've probably heard about the value of fast combustion. The value of fast combustion is real because the longer you have flame going on in this chamber, the more heat is being driven into the cylinder head and driven into the crown of the piston from which it is lost. It's not there anymore to push the crankshaft round and round. So designers take care to make the combustion process pretty much as fast as they can. The intake valve has the following parts. This is the valve head. I think this looks like a floor lamp base or a manhole cover on a stick. This is the stem. This is the keeper groove or collet groove. And this 45 degree ground surface here matches the valve seat also cut at that angle in the cylinder head. So when the valve closes, those two 45 degree surfaces seal against each other. The valve is held closed by springs. In many engines, there is only one spring. In quite a few, there are duplex springs. They sit on a steel washer, a valve spring compressor, which is like a glorified C-clamp, presses the spring down with the spring retainer on top of it until the valve stem sticks through the retainer far enough that you can reach in there and put these little collets. They're tapered, they're semi-circular. Put the little collets into the groove on the stem and then let the retainer come back against them and that 
locks the spring retainer to the valve stem. These springs are much too stiff for me to compress them with my fingers. So when this is all assembled, how does the valve get opened? In the case of this engine, there's a so-called rocker arm box or rocker box. Inside of it are these rockers. Coming up from the crankcase level are push rods that push on these parts. This part here presses against the exhaust valve stem and this one against the intake valve stem. That's assembled on top. When the push rods make their movements, the rocker arms transfer that movement to the valves. So this is the basics of how four-stroke or any combustion can be rapid because the intake process involving flow at hundreds of feet per second stirs the fuel-air mixture and enables it to tear up the flame kernel created at the spark plug and distribute it around the cylinder very quickly. If combustion were much slower than it is, these engines wouldn't be able to operate at 6,000 RPM. But thanks to turbulence, they can. Turbulence is what spreads the flame in the combustion chamber rapidly. There's a lot of science to the shaping of ports and valves in order to allow the maximum flow intake and exhaust.